What's going on everybody? Trip Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch today. We got another review. Yes, we are reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof C923. It's here, baby. I am so excited. I've clearly already been drinking this. I am thoroughly enjoying it. You know, when you're a Browns fan, you know what I'm saying? You gotta drink whiskey to make it through. You know, you can't go through a season without consuming copious amounts of misery bourbon. Playing it on this one. This is officially bourbon season. You know what I'm saying? It's football, the weather's cooling down, but most importantly, a lot of bourbons are starting to get released. You get rare bourbon raffles, all sorts of crazy new releases, and we get blessed with the sea batches of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Larceny Barrel Proof. Just did a review of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923, which turns out to be pretty good. I think it's safe to say that this one too is really good. So let's quit messing around. We got to go watch our team lose at some football. So let's pour a glass. Let's get a little slammer. I'm gonna tell you what I think, how it smells, how it tastes, and if you should go and buy it, spoiler alert, if you don't wanna watch any more of the video, yes, just go buy a bottle. So let's get into it. C923, this batch 126 point four so pretty hot tamale there let's get into it i'm gonna tell you right now right now this thing smells freaking incredible it is so much spicier than i think we're used to i know larceny barrel proof to me always is just extra spicy this batch though man it it almost is deceiving you as a, a, not a weeder. Okay, that's that's what I'm going with. Not a weeder. Larceny is a weeded bourbon and you almost can't even tell. The amount of sweetness that comes off this is incredible. Very vanilla, very caramel. Go figure, it's bourbon, but it's, it's very elevated. It is just, it is melted candy, okay? I mean, seriously, this is just candy. This is just vanilla, caramel, toffee, chocolate candy ball. It almost makes me think of like a spicier Maker's Private Select. You know, just on the nose, that's what it reminds me of, that dessertiness, the ice cream characteristic, but spicy. We like a little spice, we like the heat, we like the 126, okay? Let's taste it. Yep, dessert, that is freaking, what is that? Just the wind, don't worry. Seriously, it is dessert. Vanilla ice cream dessert. You get hot fudge on there. A lot of vanilla, because it's vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, but there is this nuttiness. It's almost as if you took, um, uh, come on, let's think of dessert, because I'm, I'm a fat kid at heart. Vanilla ice cream, so ice cream sundae, except for you take like a turtle's chocolate, you know what I'm talking about? You put those on there too, because why not? Hot fudge, caramel, turtles, vanilla ice cream. Pour this on there. Just pour that on there. Getting a decent amount of that barrel too, man. It's just, this is it. This is it. Again, we're just gonna have to do a larceny of 2023 side-by-side -side blind video just to see which one's my favorite. I think this might be it. I think it might be it. This is one of my favorite releases, I think, so far of this year. Just how much I wanna keep drinking this. You know what I'm saying? You you can get some bottles sometimes and it's like, man, this is so complex and the age and this and all that. And then you don't reach for it again for a while. You know what I'm saying? This one, it's like, I can't stop reaching for it. Once I finish this, I just, I want more of it. I think it's just perfectly blended of, of all of that sweetness, but you're still getting some nuttiness. You're getting some of the oakiness a little bit in there. It's definitely, definitely not like an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof where you're picking up on the 12 year old range, but still enough to, to make it more than just sweet. Okay, this isn't just candy. There is the barrel, there is the char, there is a lot of the vanilla flavors come from there. And that's probably why it's freaking vanilla ice cream. 
uh, but it's got the Heaven Hill nuttiness going on in there too. And it's a lot spicier than I'm kind of used to uh, with the Larceny Barrel Proof stuff. It's very high proof. Maybe that's deceiving the brain, but it doesn't matter because that's what my brain thinks. And it's all around pleasant, pleasantly delicious, pleasantly deliciously amazing. Yep, this is it. This is um, this is a great batch of Larceny Barrel Proof. So if you can get them, I go get one. Definitely get one. I think I paid. 60 bucks, just like every other one. It was sitting on the shelf. If you are a Larceny Barrel Proof lover, I bet you, you will love this. If you're a Larceny Barrel Proof hater, it's kind of weird, but I, this one, I love it, love it. So go get you one. If you do, let me know what you think. Let others know what you think, because I'm just one dude and you know i feel myself drinking whiskey in my room so my palate is my own and my opinions are my own and maybe you shouldn't listen to a browns fan go browns just trying to help you guys out especially if you have a losing football team and just go <laughs> pick one up all right hope you like the video leave a like on your way out of here subscribe if you are new here subscribe if you're not a browns fan how about that if you are any other sports team fan go uh I'm Trev Wilson. I will see you guys in the next video.